the Arizona Coyotes have claimed Adam Rzichka. There you go. That was the team. There was one team. Okay. What did the uh, what the texteru say here earlier? Have Arizona is thinking is about it. Bastard. Zona, zona. Mullet. Down to the mullet. He had so much fun there last time. He'll be pumped. So Arizona, hey, just plucking flames off the waiver wire. Valamaki. You so Valamaki, and now another Mackey, Connor Mackey. Now this. So how do you feel about that? It's kind of an unceremonious end to. Uh, he's Adam twenty-four. Zizka. He's almost twenty-five. You had you gave him a run. It was a nice selection in the fourth round, and he ended up being what everyone thought he was when he was drafted. He yeah. had some tools, big body, not physical enough, too inconsistent. Good luck in the desert. They're going to try some other guys here. What do you think? I mean, it just it's hard to, as a coyote. Mm -hmm. How does he fare? Any different? Well, I want to look at their lineup and see who's yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know year. where. I mean, I'm not worried about this guy becoming a star. Like the Yusuf Alamaki one was a much more concerning thing because he was a guy at one point that was incredibly highly touted. I remember that Colorado yeah. series. Kale McCarr came in in game three. Valamaki played in that series. You're like, oh my God, look at these two young star blossoming defensemen. And it didn't really continue to go that way with Yusuf. But that was one where you're like, ah, that feels like you're, how did you lose that? You had it right in your hands. How did that? This is a guy who probably his ceiling was going to be the top out as a fourth liner. More news. Nick D. Simone has also been claimed. Mm. He is going to New Jersey. Jersey. Right shot. Hmm. If you need a seven, eight. Okay. I don't know. Well, see, here's the thing. I, when we did our rankings, on Afterburner mm -hmm. the other night, we had D Simone Osterly ahead of Osterley for sure. Yep. And I just so, like Nick's a right shot. Osterley's a left and Shillington's a left and Gilbert's a left. The, the balance. I like the one. I don't know that he's significantly better than Osterley or anything. No, I, well, it's, but Osterley yeah. just Osterley struggled a bit this year. Yeah. yeah. Which is, again, you've just lost what? a guy. And I guess with Ruzichka, you lost Yusuf Valimaki. You lost Matt Phillips. You lost Adam Ruzichka. It's just, it's, just guys in the system that could you have traded them sooner and gotten something? It just no, Valmacki I, for sure. Valmacki's different than the other ones. Like depth guys, fringe guys change hands all the time. Valmacki was on a trajectory to be a very good player, and there was a horrible run of injuries, including shredding his knee during summer training. He loses a full year, massive key developmental years, falls out of favor with a coach. Like. I, I don't put Valimaki in the same category as the other ones because, you know, he was a first rounder that was supposed to be a very good player. And I think injuries have robbed him of that part of his ceiling of how good he can be. And the people in the chat say, he's a healthy scratch. What are you talking about? Well, that, that's not, they didn't draft him 16, 17 overall to think that he might be a third mm -hmm. pair defenseman. There was always that upside that he could be a top four guy and even a top pair guy, potentially. It just hasn't gone that way. And I think injuries are a big part of it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.